in the mind. So all the problems that comes to our life, it enters into the mind first. First there is a perception in the mind and the same mind projects. The moment it projects itself, the problem begins. So if we ask the question, do you feel the problems are created by the world outside or by our mind? So it is basically the mind. Because all experiences takes place in the mind and these experiences we feel if we experience the pleasure there is no problem when we experience the pain or a reaction that is a projection and that projection causes the problem. So our master says that that the happiness and the peace in our life should have three factors, the right knowledge, the right desire, and the right action right knowledge, right desire, right action. Now the right knowledge in the mind is nothing but the absence of projection. The right knowledge that does not create any conflict and the confusion. The right knowledge has a right desire. And that right desire translates into right action. But if we have a wrong knowledge about the peace and happiness and its location, we start searching that peace and happiness outside in the world. It creates a projection and the projection results into suffering. It may suffering, maybe anxiety, maybe duality, maybe conflict. So it is very important to have the right knowledge, not to live in ignorance, to have the right desire that translates into right action. For that we demand not only an awareness that only or also that also demands to break up the habitual, instinctive and impulsive pattern in our life. Once we drop that impulsive pattern in our life, the mind becomes clear and it brings the right knowledge. So that is why our master says that the mind is the problem. When we seek a happiness outside in the world, no one is the no one causes the problem, it is the mind. As we understand that all experiences takes place in the mind, whether it is good or bad experience, pain or pleasure, sorrow and happiness. One part of the mind is always seeking peace and happiness the second part of the mind is always gives the pain because it is impulsive, it is instinctive, it is habitual. So there our master says that impulsive, habitual, 
and uh, instinctive mind is impure mind. Impure mind lacks the right knowledge. And if it lacks the right knowledge, it results into the wrong desire and then the wrong action. That is why the Master says we have to learn from our experiences. We have to learn from our experiences. It is the mind that experiences everything. So if the mind learns from the experiences that why we have a reaction, pain, and that is why the modern science has a feedback understanding, understanding of the feedback. We have a respiratory biofeedback, we have a temperature biofeedback. So biofeedback means we give the right feedback to the mind again and again in order to learn from our experiences. In the Eastern wisdom, we have a breathing practices, respiratory biofeedback. If we keep on breathing deep, silent and slow, for a few minutes every day, it results into a deep relax, relaxation experience. And ultimately, the old negative experiences comes to an end. We are able to modify our behavior, our attitude. And the same thing happens in the in the meditation also. Same thing happens in the meditation. And that is why the Eastern wisdom says listening and learning the principles from a teacher. A simple statement that I do not know, let me know it. And then we ask the mind to think it over, contemplation and reflection. I do not understand, let me understand it. I do not experience, so let me practice to have an experience. And that results into change in our attitude and behavior. So let us see, close your eyes, let us start one practice, close your eyes. Eyes are closed and adjust and align your body. So you see you are learning from your experiences. Consciously, you have aligned and adjusted your body. You close your eyes. The mind may say you are aware of the space and the darkness inside. Adjusted and aligned means that there is no discomfort in the body. So you see, we are learning from our experiences. Move the mind on the neck joint. Check it. Mind is already aware of the entire body, including the neck joint. We are simply asking to pay attention to the neck joint. The moment the mind looks at the neck joint, 
we feel the sensation, comfort and steadiness. We are going slowly, move the mind on the shoulder joints. You are aware, you feel it, you experience sensation, comfort and steadiness. Move the mind on the hip joint. You have already, body is already aligned. It is in the state of comfort, but we are consciously experiencing the comfort, sensation, and steadiness. Why consciously experiencing? We are learning from our experiences. If we understand the value and the importance of being comfortable, we can beat and defeat anxiety and reaction at any time. What do you mean? I mean in a simple way, the anxiety gives some symptoms and experiences in our mind. And if we replace it with being comfortable with an experience of sensation, comfort and steadiness, it works. Mind may say that, no, I did not understand. So simple. You have a symptoms. That symptom is one level of your experience. No problem. So you create another set of experience. Suppose at this time, you have one set of experiences you look at the neck joint and you create another set of experiences that is sensation, comfort and steadiness. Mind goes again to the reaction. You again create another. You look again the shoulder joint. So what happens within a couple of minutes you will find the mind starts moving with comfort and steadiness. You have changed your experience and dropped the symptoms of hesitation or anxiety. Then there is another way. This next step is being carefree. You witness all the experiences, including the thoughts. Thoughts come, you watch the thought that has entered the world, mind unwelcome, uninvited, Any experience enters the mind, uninvited, unwelcome. You watch it, you see it, you're an observer. Why? You simply affirm in the mind, you are not a thought, you are not your experiences. Thought is separate from you. Any experience is separate from you.
any thought comes and any thought goes. Thought is not there, you are there. Thought is there, you are there. That proves that you exist in the presence of a thought and also in the absence of a thought. That is what I mean by being carefree. That is what it means by being carefree. You see, all the steps of meditation drops the projection of the mind in different ways. So in the previous step of being an observer and a witness, we understood that uninvited, unwelcome thought enters and you become a witness, you are an observer. Now mentally we can replace the unwelcome, uninvited thoughts by a mantra. So mentally say or mentally think Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinah Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinah One more time Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinah Simply remember the word, the meaning and the knowledge. So we chanted the word mentally. Now we ask the mind to have the right meaning of the word. Let everyone be happy. That is the meaning. So that also includes me. Let everyone be happy. Or can everyone be happy? So our master says, yes, now we are going to the knowledge. How come everyone can be happy? Because happiness is our nature. No, no, but I'm not happy all the time. Because projection of the mind hides of the real nature. The curtain hides the sunlight entering into the room. Same way, the happiness is hidden behind the projection of the mind. Oh, is that so? What should we do? Nothing. Just understanding. Sarve Santu Niramaya Sarve Santu Niramaya Sarve Santu Niramaya You are reciting. Why are you reciting? We, we are thinking. Why we are thinking? To replace the unwanted and unwelcome thoughts. What is the meaning of this? The meaning is let everyone be healthy. The term, now we go to the meaning, the term health in Eastern wisdom is known as swast. And the Sanskrit word swast means the one who is settled in oneself is healthy. What do you mean one is settled in oneself? There is no projection. There is no anxiety. There is no reaction. There is no impulsive. Oh, that is the meaning. And we also 
understand the knowledge of the health being at ease. If we are not at ease, we are suffering from a disease. Oh, at ease is very important. And now look at the third line, Sarve Bhadrani Pashyantu Sarve Bhadrani Pashyantu let everyone be blessed. The grace and the blessing is always there from our, the existence. That's why we are alive now. Grace and the blessing simply means that we are protected we are given an opportunity to live in peace and happiness without any calling from our mind. We, demand, we only need to be aware. I am alive because of the air that is going in and coming out. I am alive because of conscious I am conscious of the body. That is a great grace and a blessing from the existence all the time. Ma kashche dukha bhag bhavet Ma kashche dukha bhag bhavet Ma kashche dukha bhag bhavet let none suffer from misery in the world. Everyone should be free from all kinds of suffering. Today I have, we have understood a new meaning, new level of awareness from this mantra. Everyone should be free from the suffering. Why? That is the very nature of the existence. Does air cause any problem? Is air different from one place to the other, created by the existence? No. Air is not different. The water is not different. The earth is not different. We modify. You modify the air, air pollution. You might modify the water, water pollution. Oh, otherwise, existence does not create any problem. So if we align with the existence, the problem is gone. So the few steps we have taken in today's meditation is passive, full of knowledge and the wisdom. But sometimes the mind does not listen. No issue. So sometimes the mind tends to become unconscious, subconscious. It keeps on reacting and hesitating. In those times, the active steps works very well. So what is the active step? Simple. Start breathing, quick and short breath from both the nostrils. Keep looking deep inside the heart.
Continue short quicken short breath through both the nostrils. Keep looking deep inside the heart. What you're looking may be the blankness, may be the emptiness. Body remains steady. And stop it. Did we change our experience by the breathing? Yes. Can we learn from our experiences? Yes. When we were doing the breathing in the beginning, there was not any change. But after a few minutes, we experience the sensation becomes deeper. Now here comes the challenge. So mind that may project something different. So when the mind projects a different experience, the mind reacts to it. But we should be very clear that breathing in this way helps to purify the mind. We may have a sudden upsurge of experience that we notice, we become aware, we accept it. We can still change our experiences and learn from it. Another way, we will do another active step. Take a deep, silent and slow breath. What it means? First you inhale into the belly, then into the rib case, and while breathing out, make the humming sound louder, deeper, and longer. Mm -hmm. And take your time in inhalation and take your time in doing the humming. Beautiful, continue.
and stop it. In that new level of your experience, look at the breath that is going in and out. No change in the rate and the rhythm of the breath. No change in the rate and the rhythm of the breath. When the breath goes in, just drop in your mind Shantoham with the meaning Shantoham means I am the peace. Breath goes in Shantoham, breath comes out Shantoham, goes in Shantoham, comes out Shantoham. goes in Shantoham, comes out Shantoham. Shantu, huh? Shantu. Yes, it may be possible that other thoughts uninvited thought can enter the mind and disturb. No, it's not a kind of disturbance. Just become aware the other thought has come and again drop Shanto, return to the breath. And so simple. And do nothing, remain as you are. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti.
Shanti 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 Bring your mind on the right hand your mind on the left hand, lift your both the hands, place it on your eyes, open the eyes and sigh. Know your experiences, bring the hands down. How are you? And okay, I feel fine. You feel fine. Well.